itself. Yeah. Stand by for a moment. Uh, Hillary Clinton uh, has been uh, taking a good share of the credit uh, in recent days for the tough sanctions on Iran. But Josh Rogan of the Daily Beast writes that Hillary Clinton's own State Department seriously resisted those tough sanction measures. Josh is here uh, with Jim and me right now. Uh, tell us what you're, you're, you're reporting. Right. So Hillary Clinton raised eyebrows when she seemed to take credit for the crippling sanctions that she says brought Iran to the negotiating table. But lawmakers and experts who were involved at the time are quick to point out that the State Department, along with the White House and the Treasury Department, worked hard to slow the pace of those sanctions and dilute them while they were going through Congress for the entire four years that Hillary Clinton led the State Department. Uh, the State Department had its own view on how sanctions could be implemented. They thought the Congress was going too fast, and that's a fair view to have. Uh, but looking back, it's hard for Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton to take credit for the most crippling of the sanctions that she, her State Department was. Well, she was taking to. credit this week in a major speech, a exactly. foreign policy speech here this week. Uh, but uh, the, the, the real initiative for those sanctions, and I want Jim to weigh in on this as well, really emanated, came from Congress where Democrats and Republicans worked hard to get those sanctions, but they did face resistance from the Obama administration. Often quite bitter resistance, and we see this even to this day. Uh, there are still efforts in Congress to push for more sanctions against Iran, especially if they fail to make a deal or fail to stick to the deal that they make. Uh, the administration does not believe that Congress should lead the way on sanctions. They want Congress's help, but only if Congress does it in the way that the administration prefers. And this is going to be an issue for Hillary if, if and when uh, she decides to run for president, because people will look at that record and compare it to her statements. What do you hear?